I'm so stoked right now. The weather is so beautiful outside. The holiday season is over, so I'm sure a lot of you must have new longboards, or maybe you started some new skate activity for the new year. There's so many great beginner tips to talk about when it comes to skating, when it comes to longboarding, but these five specific tips that I'm gonna talk about in this video are the main tips that I wish I knew when I first started skating. Something that I'm always telling beginner riders to do, practice pushing switch. You know, when you're out on the streets carving, getting flowy, every now and then just practice Practice pushing switch. It'll help you out in the long run. If you can push in both your regular stance and your switch stance, you'll just overall be more comfortable on your board. When you start learning tricks and you land in your switch stance or you're riding fakie, kind of working on new dance steps, being able to push switch is the other 50% of balance on your board. If you're facing one direction, you want to be able to skate and face the other direction, just really get comfortable entirely. So that's something I always recommend beginner riders is to also just practice pushing switch every now and then. You'll thank me later. My second tip is all about manuals. I'm so bad at manuals and I wish I was able to do them better. I would always push skate to my grandma's house. I would practice my dancing, I remember, or I would be working on big long flowy carves, but I didn't work on my manuals and that's something that I wish I did when I first started skating. Work on your manuals so you can do cool G-turn tricks that I cannot do. Maybe I'll work on that more this year. I had a media video. I got you. <laughs> My third tip for this video is to practice skating with a friend. Find someone who you can go out and skate with. You both will most likely be pushing each other to learn something new. And it's just really nice to have someone to progress and grow with. When I first started longboarding, I was filming a bunch of solo sessions and I was skating by myself. A lot of time because I was nervous to skate in public. I didn't want to fall in front of other people. I was just overall nervous and would seriously just skate by myself. But then I started started skating more and more with my friend Devin. If y'all remember Devin, who was in my older YouTube videos, he's just a goat. I love him so much. As soon as I started skating with Devin more, I felt an instant increase in my progression. I was definitely having a lot more fun, and we were just both inspiring each other, kind of bouncing off from each other with ideas and new skate tricks that we want to learn. He's my favorite skate buddy. Hopefully you can find someone who you can skate with, find a community of other boarders to just go out and have sessions together. My fourth tip for this video is to not spend too much time on a trick if you get stuck. Sometimes you'll be seeing everyone doing this super awesome trick and you'll be like, I want to learn that and you go out and you just can't do it. You spend weeks on it, maybe even months trying to get this trick down and you just can't do it. That's 100% okay and totally normal. You just never want to compare yourself to other people because everyone progresses differently at their own pace. If you can't land a specific trick or get this dance step down, scratch it, try something new. There's endless longboard tricks to learn and then come back to it maybe in a few months, six months. For the longest time, I wanted to learn how to kickflip on my longboard. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't figure out the weight. I just remember getting so frustrated with that trick. All my friends could do it except for me. I remember at that time I wasn't progressing because I was focusing so much on trying to land this kickflip. And that's when I just told myself, okay, no more kickflips. I scrapped it and I moved on and I was progressing again. I was trying out new stuff. Later in the year, I went back to the kickflip and I got it instantly. I was mind blown. I was able to learn it at such ease and I feel like I was able to develop over the course of learning other tricks, the technical specs of what goes into learning how to kickflip. And Or maybe I was just trying the trick for way too long and I just needed a clear head, a clean palette. If you're having trouble coming up with tricks for longboarding and you do feel like you're in that stuck position. Take one of your favorite tricks that you love so much that you feel consistent with and throw some variation to it, you know. Take that trick down a curb or try to land it maybe cross-footed or try landing it in your switch position. Maybe add a finger flip to it. There's endless variations where you can come up with a trick that's never been done almost. And that's what's so cool about longboarding is that there's just endless freedom and creativity to these tricks that no one really does. I'm going to talk about the last and final tip which is tip number 
number five, learn how to fall properly. If you're a beginner skater and you don't really know the right way to fall, you could really hurt yourself and that would suck to start longboarding and you fall like your first week. A lot of people get discouraged, unmotivated, too injured to continue skating. And the hardest part of skating is always starting out. You know, you're still getting comfortable on your board and it sounds silly, but you can practice falling. You can take your mattress from your bed, throw it on the ground and just kind of throw yourself onto it. Practice rolling when you fall. You know, you don't want those heavy slams, but you want a nice comfy roll so it's less impact on your body. A big part of skating is all mental. A lot of people are nervous to skate because of potentially injuring themselves and you do take that risk when you step on a longboard. To this day, I still fall hella, but I feel like I've fallen so many times where I have that experience of knowing how to properly fall and you never know what's gonna happen so just always skate safe and those are the five tips that I wish I knew when I first started longboarding I hope you all take it out with you the next time you go out for a skate sesh leave a comment down below what skate videos you all want to see from me on this channel I announced in my last video that I made a second channel for more personal content life outside of skating vlogs with my roommates I'm really excited about that channel because I'll just be able to post whatever I want I hope you all go check it out subscribe I have a video Video already up on there and I'm gonna be posting another one pretty soon thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one